Welcome back to Linear Circuits. This is Dr. Ferry. In this lesson, we will be looking at Bode plots of RC circuits. We will be looking at two different circuits, this one and this one. And the difference is that where we're taking the output. Here it's across the resistor, and here it's across the capacitor. And it turns out it makes a big difference in what the Bode plot looks like of that circuit. We're going to be building upon the definition of Bode plots and how we've introduced them in the last lesson. We will also be looking at transfer functions of RC circuits. Now let's start with the Bode plot of the RC circuit where we take the output across the capacitor. In our previous lessons, we found this to be our transfer function. Remember, remember how we got that. We looked at the impedance equivalent circuit of this and then it did a voltage divider law of this impedance over the sum of the two. And if this is the transfer function, then I can find the magnitude here and the angle right here. All I need to do is then plot it on the Bode scale. And there's some characteristic things that we want to look at on RC circuits like this. One is what happens at low frequency, what happens at high frequency, and what do we determine as being the corner frequency of this. So I'll look at the plot a little bit more detail. At low frequency, we've got zero decibels. At high frequency, I've got a, looks like a slope here. And it is a slope with a value of minus 20 decibels per decade. Remember a decade is the distance between a frequency and 10 times its frequency. So I go over one decade, I go down 20 decibels. If I continue on here, these is, it's like an asymptotic line right here. If I continue on right here, I can match up what these two asymptotic lines are, and that's what's called the corner frequency. I'll call it omega sub c. And in the angle plot, we have we start out at zero degrees, and we end up at minus 90 at high frequency. So to summarize this behavior, the magnitude at low frequency is zero decibels, the angle is zero. At high frequency, the magnitude has a slope, minus 20 dB per decade, angle of minus 90. The corner frequency, I've defined as omega sub c according to the plot here. Now this particular plot was drawn for particular values of RC, but it turns out no matter what RC is, that corner frequency always occurs at 1 over RC. We can also find the Bode plot from experimental data. The key is to remember how the transfer function relates the input and output uh, magnitudes. So the amplitude of the output signal divided by the amplitude of the input signal is the magnitude of the transfer function at that frequency. And similarly, the phase angle is defined as the difference between the input waveform and the output waveform. Now let's look at some experiments relating that. Here is an oscilloscope trace of an input and an output of an RC circuit. The input is shown in green and the output is shown in blue for this particular frequency. The frequency is, is at 1000 hertz. And you can see that the output amplitude over the input amplitude is a ratio of 0.8. So the transfer function at that frequency is 0.8, the magnitude of the transfer function. If a, an, an instrument, like a Bode plot instrument, electronic instrument, wants to find a Bode plot automatically, what it does is inputs a frequency like this, finds this ratio of amplitudes, finds a phase angle between them at that frequency, and then records it. And then it changes the frequency and does those re um, recording again, the amplitude ratio and the phase lag. Let me show you an example of running a Bode plot instrument. So here's with this same circuit hooked up, and I'm going to hit run on this, and you'll see it building it up. For each of those points, it's finding the amplitude ratio and taking 20 times the log of it and plotting it. This is gain in decibels. And down here, it is the phase angle in degrees. Again, found numerically or found experimentally by looking at the angle difference between the input signal and the output signal. So this, again, is an automatic generation of the Bode plot experimentally without even having to worry about the explicit formula for H of omega. Now I want to take a look at our other circuit where I take the output 
across this resistor. Now this is the transfer function and we can get the transfer function similar to what we did before we use the impedance method where we use the voltage divider law so it's R over R plus this impedance 1 over J omega C and that would be to find V out given Vs. So this is the transfer function and if I clear my fractions I get this. Now if I plot the magnitude versus frequency and the angle versus frequency I get these two Bode plots. Similar to what we did before I can find a corner frequency here and I can look at what happens at low frequencies and what happens at high frequencies. So low frequencies I get a slope of 20 decibels per decade. Now this is a slope upwards so it's plus 20 dB per decade and I go from 90 to 0 degrees as I go from low frequency to high frequency. And at high frequency in terms of the magnitude I go to 0 dB. So to summarize low frequency magnitude has this slope angle of 90, high frequency has magnitude of 0 dB, angle of uh, 0 degrees, and the corner frequency is defined the same way as it was before, 1 over RC. To summarize, we've looked at an RC circuit in two different configurations. And the only difference between them is where we take the output. Here it's across the capacitor, and here it's across the resistor. And notice that we get very different Bode plots between those two configurations. In this particular lesson, we looked at high frequency and low frequency characteristics of these Bode plots. So for example, in this particular configuration, we saw that the high frequency slope was minus 20 dB per decade, and we found that this was the corner frequency. Well, this formula for corner frequency holds for this particular configuration as well. But in this case, we have a slope leading upward of 20 dB per decade at low frequencies, and then this being the corner frequency. And in both cases, we're going between a 0 and 90. Here we're going 0 to actually minus 90, and over here we're going from plus, plus 90 to 0. All right, thank you very much.